What's up, y'all? I've got some really nice and major buffs for Pidgeot in this hack. Reworks from their previous renditions if you are a returning viewer, and if you're a new viewer, welcome. Hello, make sure you check out the description down below. There is a link to a Google Sheet where you can check out all of the buffs and changes in the hack listed out just like this. And most importantly, you can go to the move sheet and check out all 600 plus move buffs and changes organized into many different categories as you can see on screen right now. It's very useful. You click these little links and it takes you, oh, look, these are moves that work like Diego Meteor. These are moves that work like Post Combat. These are moves that uh, hit multiple times. Here are moves that always crit, you know, and so on and so on. Moves that boost your stats, but so what? Uh, and. I was going to say something and I just totally blanked, so I'm just going <laughs> to leave it off there. But yeah, please do make sure you check out that description and look at the Google Sheet for all of the move buffs and changes. I don't have time to get into every single one, but with that out of the way, Pidgeot got some pretty big reworks from their old renditions. So now Speed Boost turns into Garden Gale, which is really nice because what you can do on base form Pidgeot once you get the Mega is you can run max HP and max attack or special attack on your Pidgeot, get one Speed Boost, Mega Evolve, and now Garden Gale, which functions like Delta Stream, will mean that you have no weaknesses, which in my opinion is a very overrated trait, especially in-game in Arc 1 Nuzlocke, where in my opinion resistances mean a lot more, but it's still useful to, you know, not be weak to moves like Rock and Electric and Ice. Um, I believe those are the three that you would lose with Garden Gale, and then you're not, you know, you're neutral to fighting, you don't resist fighting, but it's, it still means that you are neutral to the best, to a lot of moves, uh, which is nice, and you of course are immune to ground and Ghost and uh, you're resistant to bug and stuff, which is a pretty big resistance to have in a hack like this, where bug is a very scary offensive type now, um, due to moves like first impression and all that other stuff and the bug type buffs. But uh, Mega Pidgeot with Garden Gale and Max HP investment is actually a really tanky Pokemon, and with 145 base speed, after one speed boost, it doesn't matter what your speed IVs are. Usually, I always talk about how fast Pokemon attack aren't as fast as you might think because you're not guaranteed max speed IVs and a max speed uh, plus speed nature. But even if you got like a minus speed nature with zero speed IVs, with zero speed investment, you're still hitting 397 speed after a speed boost on Mega Pidgeot. So it's pretty crazy. And then base Pidgeot is also very fast after a speed boost, even with no speed investment. And that means you can also run max HP, max attack on your Pidgeot, or even max bulk fully, like max HP, max defense. 85, 85, 85, especially for this hack standards, is nothing too crazy, but when you invest in it, it's really good. And Pidgeot really appreciates the fact that um, infinite UV trading items do exist now, so you can easily switch around your EV spreads. Because for some boss fights, you're gonna wanna run max speed, max attack with Defiant, uh, or max special attack, max speed with no guard or whatever. Um, no guard, speaking of, that is one of the other changes I made. So I put no guard back on Mega Pidgeot. Initially I had Serene Grace, uh, which is was in my opinion at the time better because there was a lot of moves to abuse with it. Now though, it's really only, for Pidgeot, it's only dual wing beat and air slash and hurricane and like play rough and maybe take down and the rest are all like situational spadef drops from like Focus Blast or something. So it's kind of mid. Um, Swing Grace, and I also, also, my main issue with it was that uh, Air Slash, which is the best move with it, is only good on Mega Pidgeot, which means that you would have to keep it on base Pidgeot, which is kind of restricting because you don't have access to the movie liner, so it is it is very restricting to have to keep those moves um, on your Pidgeot. However, with Hurricane and No Guard, keep in mind that Hurricane and Focus Blast are one, uh, 120 and 130 base power, and both are 85% accurate. So what you can do is once you get to Pony Island and you get access to the, both those TMs, you can swap on no guard to make a pidgeot if you want for certain boss fights and just use no missing hurricane plus focus blast uh heat wave is also heat wave and air blast are both 95 base 95 percent accurate moves that are 65 base power that will always crit making them effectively 98 base power so and those are nice uh, those work especially great with moves like hyper beam which will drop your special attack step by two 160 base power you can use hyper beam and then spam air blast or heat wave to bypass that special attack drop very very good especially on a very fast mixed attacker like this you can also just use mixed sets in general um Especially because of speed boost, Mega Pidgeot can really abuse mixed sets. Uh, for example, you can speed boost, Mega Evolve, Garden Gale, Max, uh, Max Attack, and Special Attack if you don't need the bulk investment for that boss fight, if you don't need to live hits or whatever, um, or that you don't need the investment to live a hit, then it's good, you know? Uh, but 85 85 with investment is, is very, very solid, very, very tanky. Uh, and you do have access to reteachable Roost, which makes Mega Pidgeot with Garden Gale and from the speed boost even better as like a defensive fast offensive Pokemon, 
uh, utility type Pokemon. It does have stuff like Battle Cry as well, which will drop the opponent's attack and special attack by two stages. And it has Farting Shots and Taunt and all those other great utility uh, moves. So it's a really good Pokemon with that uh, in mind, because you might look at it and be like, oh, it's not that great. It, it, it's very nice. As for Defiant, if you go and click this little link, which I did add recently, you can see all of the stat dropping moves in this hack, of which there are a lot. So if you switch your Pidgeot into any of these attacks, which again, these are pretty damn common, especially early game. Early game Defiant and Competitive are very strong. Uh, and then later on in the game, typically the Pokemon will lose them as they evolve, but in this case, number one, I had a lot of overlap with other normal and flying type Pokemon, uh, so Defiant was really, really the only choice. It's also a good ability. Um, you can switch on any of these moves. There's a tons of them. Like Look at all the ones that drop speed on screen, and all these ones that drop defense, and then all these ones that drop attack and special attack. And then there are also, if you click here, there's, uh, oh, this is setup moves, but this is set this is set up most for stat drop boosting moves and then here are all the stat lowering moves. So these this is this is a lot. This is a whole bunch of moves. Um not to mention a bunch of moves have chances to drop defenses as well, which is a lot less reliable, and I would not bank on those. But for, in cases like this, you can see if the AI has one of these moves that drop your stats, and then just go ahead and uh you know, switch your Pidgeot in to get a free plus to attack. And then you can Mega Evolve and run No Guard, and you can use a physical No Guard set with Dive Bomb. Dive Bomb is essentially flying type high jump kick, so Dive Bomb is really good for physical No Guard sets. That's your only physical No Guard move, but it's, it is what it is. Typically, No Guard is a pretty mid ability in this hack, unless the Pokemon has access to one of those 70% accurate moves, or Knockout Punch, which is 80% accurate. Every other move is 85% accurate at, at minimum, so it's not like no Guard is the best thing in the world, especially because Wide Lens is buffed to 15%. However, on a Mega that can't hold the Wide Lens, it's much better. Um, another really good thing the Pidgeot can do is just simple, like, Speed Boost, Swords Dance, or Speed Boost Bulk Up. Um, setup in general is heavily nerfed in this hack, so you'll only have one Swords Dance. However, with Swords Dance plus Roost, or three Bulk Ups plus Roost, um, which is the max PP for Bulk Up is three, uh, it's still really good to have that speed boost because you can bulk up, roost, speed boost, uh, and you resist first impression naturally. So despite the fact that first impression will crit through your defensive boosts, you can still get a couple bulk ups up, roost off the first impression, and now their actual non-crit moves will be dealing not that much damage on the physical side. So you could totally run like speed boost, max HP, max per death, bulk up, and just sweep with Roost and go to town. Or you can run, you know, max HP, max attack if you need the extra power. Or you can just customize your respread if you calc out the boss fight. So Pidgeot, any speed booster really for that matter, especially the ones that resist first impression like Pidgeot and Rapidash are really good uh, sweepers in the, in the game because sweeping in general is heavily nerfed in a lot of ways. Keep in mind the AI will still have other things like Priority Whirlwind and Roar and top to turvy and heart swap and all this other stuff to counter your setup Pidgeot. And also it's not the most fun thing in my opinion, but if you're really struggling, go ahead and use that setup Pidgeot for speed boost. And even if you are using setup Pidgeot for speed boost, I'm sure, like for example, a ruthless boost of first impression, if you're not invested in HP, will do a lot of damage. Uh, they probably won't one shot you because you do resist it, but it'll still do a lot of damage if it's like a bug type, especially versus a Guzma, his, his, his bugs are gonna be definitely very scary, um, but you can still pull it off, especially with that HP investment. So, um, a freaking Siri just activated, thought I was saying Siri, it's funny. Um, otherwise though, you do have solid coverage, nothing too crazy, just by the nature of it being like this generic normal flying type, but it does have player rough and takedown, which are one-time based power recoil moves, first impression, lunge, skirmish in time for Olivia, which will drop attack and special attack by one, pursuit in time for dulse, which is good dark type coverage, knockoff via tutor, um, which is a little bit weaker now, so it's not the best thing in the world. Steel Wing is really cool. Steel Wing will give you plus one defense and it's 60 base power. So not only is that solid coverage to hit, to hit a rock type or something, um, it also will give you a defense boost, which you can use in conjunction with a speed boost and, you know, go to town there uh, with Roost. Uh, you could use like a Max Bedef set with Steel Wing and a Roost, pretty fun. Uh, speed boost in general is very fun to play around with because it's such a fast Pokemon, you don't need to invest in your speed. Uh, Swords Dance E-Speed is pretty okay, but honestly, I. It's not the best thing in the world. I'd rather just run Retaliate because you're so fast already. But for certain boss fights, if you do need ex extreme speed, it is there. Um, so this isn't competitive battling though. So, you know, out prioritizing other E speeds or other priorities, not that much of a factor. The only, the most common priority moves that the AI will use against you is first impression, which out prioritizes E speed anyways. Not that the other priority moves won't exist. It's just not the most relevant thing, but it's still a good move. You can totally keep it. Um, yeah, otherwise you get really good coverage moves late game or the better ones later on in the game, Heat Wave on special sets in conjunction with Focus Blast is, you know, fire, fighting, and then you have your normal flying dual stab, it's really all you need. It's all the coverage you have, but it's really all the coverage you need. Uh, and then of course you can always parting try to U-turn out on something you can't really touch that well, or that outspeeds you, or that scares you out, or whatever it is. Um, 
So yeah, this is definitely just a great mod. Having that reteachable healing is also great, making it bulkier and the ability slots are really cool. Um, you can argue that Defiant into No Guard is pretty situational, and I would be inclined to agree with you. Uh, usually I try to give every Pokemon two sets of good abilities, but Speed Boost into Garden Gale is so good that there was no real contender for a second set of abilities that isn't situational, but it doesn't make it bad. No Guard is still nice, you know, with those Hurricanes and those Focus Blasts, or those Dive Bombs. Um, and then Defiant, when when it, like, basically Defiant is either useless or it's incredible for certain boss fights. It really just depends. If you switch it in on especially a resisted move that always drops your stats, you have plus two attack now. You Mega Evolve, you have one by team base attack with no missing, flying top of jump kick at level 43, which is pretty early. You can definitely do some crazy damage and you have player up and take down for coverage and lunge and all this other fun stuff and yeah it's a really good ability um so definitely don't sleep on defiant in this hack definitely a major buff to it just bad by nature uh also other utility earlier game you have feather dance uh pidgeotto also has speed boost so it can also do similar things that pidgeot can you don't have bulk up or anything at that point in the game but you can just use like a bulky or speed boost roost set you will have work up as well um you could try to cheese hala but he will have rock type coverage and you'll have like color berry on some of his pokemon and you won't have access to fury packs yet if you're playing with level limits which is what i do intend for you to do so i don't know if you'll be able to sweep all but you can definitely get a couple kills but is definitely a really good pokemon for him and also like speed boost is kind of overkill because you already outspeed everything for the most part on his team probably uh, but you could run like a max hp max attack with speed boost would be pretty good uh otherwise though defines is really solid to switch in like a skirmish or something like that or a parting shot and get that plus one or plus two attack uh depending on what move it was so yeah i'll leave it up there thank you so much for listening very very reasonable solid good bus for pidgeot overall very cool pokemon hopefully you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below what you think uh i definitely like the three work i feel like they were pretty underwhelming in mid before uh on the old sheets especially face pidgeot not that it was bad i mean speed boost was never bad it just i don't know i like it being more physical while the megas mix fits a lot better and then the abilities combination is a lot cooler serene grace is kind of boring and it was like yeah oh my god i flinch everything serene grace is really fun if the pokemon has other moves like revelation dance and stuff but if it's just flinching like if it's just a flinch machine like i don't really who cares you know <laughs> i'm not a fan of that uh but yeah thank you so much for listening appreciate it peace